All right, so boom, Gorilla Snot Gel and the Edge Brush are the only two things you need. When it comes to taking out that snot, all you need is a dime size, nothing more, nothing less. What you need to do next is go ahead and get your hairs out. Go ahead and take them out that puff up under that wig. Whatever style you plan on doing, you must make sure you're prepared. to start in the center I'm just gonna go ahead and double dab that right there right here and oh don't can't forget about this side over here and I just like to smooth it down first you know make sure everything is nice and smooth making sure that the product distribute throughout and if I have any leftover on my finger I'll just go ahead and put that back on the rest of my hair now ladies it's 2020 why are y'all still using two brushes when they made this special tool just for this I need answers so as of right now, I'm just playing with it, just trying to get a good feel on how I want my swoop to go in the right direction. Y'all, the power is in the swoop. The swoop is what make your edges look bombdiggity.com. Now here is my reason why I love this freaking edge brush. I love it because it comes with not only the brush side, but also the comb side. Now when I first started using this brush, I used to just use the brush side. As of recently, I've been getting into the comb side as well because with my hair texture, I'm a type 4. I have 3C too, but most of my type 4 is in the front. So with that being said, I just feel like the comb side makes it much straighter whereas the brush just makes it much neater now as you can see how i'm doing it pay attention to my fingers now look look at that middle finger what i do is comb it and i slide it with my fingers yo it's, it's really that simple comb it or brush it and slide it with my fingers and sometimes you want to take your finger as i'm doing right here you want to take your finger and just like place it on top of your edges while you're brushing or combing it back and voila there you go that is how you make that perfect swoop swoop doop that's how you do it now you're going to see me do this just a few more times because i like for my stuff to look really neat and sleek to do is tie your edges up tightly and what I do is leave it on for five minutes five minutes is all you really need this just allows it to set bake cook marinate either way and while we're taking it off we want to make sure we're taking it off slowly because we don't want none of our hard work going to waste and boom voila shaka Khan look at that glory to God beautiful artwork it belongs in the museum this is Chave. i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys next time bye